that I'm looking at it. Never mind. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm here to talk about the interactive wall. Okay, it's a project that um, will be showcased also together with Dean's project at uh, the Passion Arts Festival, which is this coming uh, Saturday, 4.30 to 8 p.m. So uh, the interactive wall um, project is basically an art meets science project. It's half art and half science. It combines um, uh, creativity together with <coughs> electronics. Okay. So um, I'm just going to go through very uh, simply what the project is because I only have five minutes. And uh, Bao Su will go through another five minutes, uh, the more, some of the electronics part of the project. Okay. So um, why I start, how I started out doing this uh, category of art meets science, which is actually a category I think not a lot of uh, makers actually go into. Okay, so in uh, 2015, I was introduced to this concept called projection mapping. And it's basically you use a projector to map into a surface. And uh, the video of the, of the demonstration that they showed me was really, really interesting. So that got me very interested. And I wanted to do a projection mapping project. <laughs> So in 2016, I did my first projection mapping project. Uh, I think some of you have seen it, it's an interactive <coughs> tablecloth. Uh, what it does is that basically we, we project an image onto, the, onto a tablecloth and over here you can, oh the mouse doesn't work. So over here you'll see these are actually capacitive touch uh, sensors which are um, conductive fabric. Right? And when you touch it, you actually change the animation. Okay, so that was the first. And what I got out of that project was that was the first time I, instead of doing a project by myself, I collaborated with uh, a few other makers. Okay, uh, basically it was me, I did the projection mapping and I was the electronics person on that project. Uh, Agatha, some of you will know her, she came out with the overall concept and do all the fabric sewing and my friend Linus and his students are the people who do the motion graphics which is the animation that you see. So you, you require people from different skill sets to actually come together to create a project like that. It's not really possible for one person to do everything. So come 2017, uh, we want to do version 2. And the most important point was the first one, is that I managed to get some funding to do this project. So basically, uh, PA, the People's Association, gave me uh, some money. And it's a uh, thank to Kiru who actually asked uh, all of us to whether we wanted to do a large scale uh, project which involves art meets science. Okay, and this time around, since I had a uh, bit of funding, I said, I'm going to get more friends involved, right? Uh, different skill sets. So this time around, the team consists of nine people, right? Bao Su over there uh, is the person who did electronics. Uh, Zion here does software. Robin and Po Hong were the people who helped build the wall. And I had four students from Singapore Poly that actually did the motion graphics again. Uh, this is a new... This was another step forward for me in collaboration because this time I brought uh, Zion who is more active in the geek community and Zai, uh, Bao Su who is uh, like more electronic. So these, there's two, these two, two communities that exist and sometimes they do not really come together to create a project, which I was hoping that this time we could do that. Okay. So the features of it is that we make custom motion graphics. That means all the animation were made from scratch. We didn't actually buy and just put it in. Okay, they're made from scratch. Uh, we trigger animations from a mobile phone. Okay, uh, we are able to we create this big LED matrix at the bottom, whereby you can actually draw to it uh, using a tablet app. We can send a tweet to the wall, and we have interactive buttons. Okay, um, so this is actually how it looks like. It was at Maker Fair. I think some of you saw it. Uh, you. Okay, so it uses uh, the LED matrix at the bottom. The top is actually a projection of uh, the graphics. Okay, so this is a very quick video of... See, so you have a phone app that's, that was made by Zion and projection mapping and once he actually swipe up, you are able to trigger the, the animation on the wall. So everyone was going on their phone and they could actually play with it. Okay, this is... So to create this project was actually quite challenging. There were a lot of systems that actually goes into it. This is only the part on the projection. Uh, so we have the, I don't think I have enough time to actually go through this whole thing. I have printed it out. If you guys want to go and look at this diagram a little closer, uh, you can, I can show you again. Okay, this is the, 
This is the part at the bottom, which is the LED matrix, basically a tablet app. We use Node MCU and we had our own uh, little uh, Wi Fi uh, local area network. Okay, and some fun facts we use um, three Arduinos, two Node M MCU, so that wall had five, five different microcontrollers on it, one Mac Pro. Uh, we had 200 watts power supply. We had 132 PCBs which uh, Chimmy and Saini helped to solder. <laughs> we had more than 25 meters of wiring that we had to hook up and more than a thousand NeoPixel LEDs on this thing. Okay. Uh, use a lot of different technologies. Node.js. Yes, Sebastian is very happy. Uh, <laughs> PHP, Arduino, uh, software from Adobe, a uh, whole lot of stuff. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys can go and see it. It will be at Science Center at the Annex. You will be able to see my installation. You will see Dean's installation as well. So uh, as long as you like one of the two of us, you should go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it will be from the 5th to the 25th of August. Yeah. Okay, uh, if we have time later, I, will ha I brought some stuff. I can do a simple demonstration, but now I will hand it over to Pao Si. Yeah. Because of it goes to the hmm? external, yeah. I think it goes to the external one. 